It is October here in Virginia and the fall feed is on fire. Bass are chasing bait fish everywhere. Stay tuned to see the techniques I use to catch quite a few nice hammers in this episode. Chain Flint Outdoors brought to you by Omnia Fishing. Experience the most personalized tackle shopping on earth. And by MMA Fishing. Fight the bite. And by Lee Time Batteries. The ultimate power solution for your boating needs. What a big girl! Underspin. When this water's flowing here, good bait to fish right here. Fishing with a freeloader from uh, Crush City. See, there's a colored. Oh, I just missed another. So they're pumping water in out of the river, and you can see there's a color difference. And I knew as soon as I came across that color difference, there'd be a bass out there ambushing. Let's talk technique for a few seconds here. What I'm doing is throwing out the underspin and letting it sink for a second or two, and then I'm steadily retrieving it back and I'm also bouncing my rod tip up and down. Well, when I bounce the rod tip up and down, it does a couple things. It helps this underspin get a lot of extra flash and pop, but most of all, the freeloader, which is a pintail type of trailer, doesn't have a curly tail or a boot tail on it, it's a pintail, and bouncing the rod tip up and down gives that pintail a lot of action that bass want to jump on. This technique is just like mid strolling or hover strolling. You're trying to keep your bait in the middle of the water column. I mean, that bait ball is 20, it's 45 feet wide. I mean, you see, see a big bass just ran in there and ran them off. Oh, the big man just didn't go fun. <laughs> I was looking down at the stream. Come on, get on in here. Come on in here. Oh, another hammer. Another hammer. I was looking down at the screen telling you about some, a bass reached up and grabbed the L.Y. and I was seeing him just streak right up and grab it. I felt him as soon as he did. Just another hammer. 
just another notch hammer up there. I'll take these days, guys, all day. Big fat chunkers. Woo! So I decided to give the inlet there where the water comes in a little bit of a break. I caught about eight or nine bass total. So I decided to move up to see if I can find some bait fish in other parts of the lake. And sure enough, I come up on a few. And um, just like any other time in the fall, when you find a bait fish, you find the bass. on the fluke you're a little skinnier than most of the bass this is a Jenny Craig <laughs> he's not as gorgeous as the other one that's why he hit that fluke probably nice bass nice bass so you're wondering I don't have a Shane Flint Outdoor shirt on it's a good friend of mine Ted Polanski Kalinowski off the hook outdoors. Great fisherman, great hunter. It's in the middle of deer season in Pennsylvania and Ohio, and he's got a lot of deer stuff going on right now, but great, great channel. Check him out, off the hook outdoors. Really, really good guy. Puts out some great content, makes his own baits, all kinds of good stuff. So check out off the hook outdoors, especially if you're a deer hunter. Ted puts some great stuff out. He tests all kinds of products, shows you how to use them. Awesome. So I made the transition back here to the inlet where the water's coming in. I gave it about 45 minutes to an hour. I caught a few smaller bass in the back there. But I came back here, and this is a perfect uh, picture here where you can see the dirty water coming in from the river, mixing with the uh, clean water on the lake. This is a classic ambush area for bass. The bait fish will move up and feed on the microbes that are coming in off the river, and the bass will ambush them as soon as they come across that muddy water line to the clear water. This is going to happen right here when I catch this nice four-pound bass. He's not as big as I thought. Man, he inhaled that. He's, he's a pretty good hammer, though. He completely inhaled my underspin. He can't even sit in his mouth. Barely. Woo! Ha! Oh, solid. Four pounder. He hammered that thing. I thought he was a lot bigger than that. Nice hammer here. Woo! The underspin does it. Another nice one. Just another nice fat fall bass to add to the total. Nice big bass. We had a great afternoon of fishing here. Had about two and a half hours out here on the lake. And uh, I don't know how many fish we caught, quite a few, but man, they are just chasing bait fish everywhere. So a fluke, an underspin, a jerk bait, anything that mimics the shad or your bait fish in your lake it's time to get it out. The water temperature is 71 degrees and they're just now getting started now and I think for the next month to 45 days I mean just throw any type of bait fish uh, imitation that you can and you're going to catch bass, crankbait, uh, you know, square bill, eight foot runner, 
10 foot runner. Um, the bass are, you know, underneath the bait ball. So you want to get underneath, um, you can get your weighted zoom flute down or jerk bait down, that'll catch them. So I hope you gathered a little bit of information from this episode. And until next time, tight lines and have fun fishing.